So in this video, we're gonna talk about motivation, recognition, the IKEA effect, the egg theory, and just kind of understand what motivates people in general. So sometimes when you think about motivation, you might think, well, people are just working to end up being on the beach, drinking a mojito, and just taking life in a very relaxing manner. But the truth of the matter is, is that no matter how much someone has worked and that they end up going to the beach and sipping a mojito, if they were to do that for the rest of their life, they would rapidly desire something else. There's more to life than just being at the beach and sipping mojitos, even though that might seem the most appealing thing for you to do right now. We need a certain challenge and we need a certain level of recognition. And there's different studies that kind of showed this whole concept that looked at some people working on a project for a business and throughout this project uh, it was very motivating for them. It was a very interesting merger. And in the end, um, the boss said, great job, really loved what you did, but we're not going to go through with the merger after all. And those people got completely devastated. Because even though they had recognition, they felt like what they were doing didn't really have much purpose. So that is one of the facets of motivation is making sure that we have a purpose. If you look at the Simon Sinek video that I'll link to the class about how millenn millennials behave and how what they seek for in a job in terms of um, purpose, You'll notice that a lot of people, when they get their first job, they don't just want something that's fun, but they want to have a sense of purpose. So that kind of ties into that, uh, but there's more to that that we can discuss later. And then attached to that as well is the idea of, well, uh, if there's no purpose, we, we want to have a feeling of recognition. We want to have a feeling that we've done something. Being, uh, it might seem very good to, to having a bunch of people working for you and everyone does everything around you and you don't have to move a finger everything just comes to you naturally sometimes we crave a certain level of recognition so this is something that was developed and understood in the egg theory many years ago there was this brand that came out with a very easy uh, box of mixed with flour and a bunch of other things that you only had to add water and put in the oven and a beautiful cake came out and it tasted really well and in the end they noticed that not people really enjoyed it and it wasn't that they didn't enjoy it because it didn't taste good because it really tasted good it was that they didn't feel that they contributed to it it was just too easy sometimes we want things to be easy but sometimes we want to feel that we had to work for it so what that brand actually did is that instead of just needing to add water you also had to add an, an egg. And by adding the egg, mixing the, the mix together, and then adding it to the oven, then people felt that they contributed to it and they felt that this was them baking this. It didn't feel as much as this was just too easy. I didn't really do much to contribute to this. And it gave them a certain level of satisfaction. And that same level of satisfaction can be translated to other situations as well. One of them being the IKEA effect. A lot of people like the IKEA because it's cheaper naturally for a bunch of things out there, but some people also enjoy the feeling that they didn't just buy something that was already put together. I actually made my kitchen with IKEA cupboards and everything else, and I personally like the quality and everything else, but at the end of the day, I, d I didn't do it to have the satisfaction of doing it. But at the same time, you still have the feeling that you built your kitchen yourself. I didn't get a team of people that kind of did the measurements and put it all together and put the kitchen in it, have to lift the finger. I rather had to figure everything out, finger the different sizes I wanted, assemble them, put it all together. And it does offer a certain level of satisfaction. And you notice this often Personally, I know this because I, I built my house myself and I'd say myself for most of it. Like there's not much that we did to have done by someone else. But I noticed a lot of people who like to say that they built their houses themselves, even though they had a team. But they did a few things throughout the process. 
to give them that certain level of recognition. And that's something that people enjoy. I'll finish with uh, a study that was done and about building origami. Uh, and then what they had at first is they had a series of origami to be completed and they had instructions. And since people had to do the origami themselves, they enjoyed it and liked it better than if it was already pre-made. And then what they did in, in the experiment is they removed part of the instructions, which made it much more hard to actually complete the origami. And the interesting thing that they found is that to the external people who looked at the origami that was produced after this reduction in instructions, they all found them less uh, less appealing, less beautiful. But to the people who made them, they actually valued them more. They liked them even more. That extra challenge just made them kind of enjoy this product, enjoy the, the whole time that they spent making it. So sometimes having a challenge makes you enjoy the whole process more and makes you actually enjoy what you produced even more. So keep that in mind and different things in your life. It could be different homework that you have to do. It could be different types of work, different things that you produce, things that you make yourself versus things that you buy already made. And think about that level of satisfaction that you get between doing it yourself or having something made. So hopefully you found this video on motivation covering the egg theory and the Ikea effect interesting. I'll catch you guys on the next one. If you found this video interesting, please consider subscribing or joining my class where I guide you to apply and expand on the information found in these videos to real life examples. Have a good day.